Apa ya? Okay. Hey, last time I seesawed this much, I was nine years old and in the playground. I tell you, this is <laughs> this is fantastic. Hello there virtual racers, you join me at the back of the grid here at the beautiful historic Kyalami circuit as we check out the new August build for Automobilista 2 by Reza Studios and as is the case with the major builds Reza always spoil us with a nice shiny bit of content to go with the Automobilista 2 and this time round oh, steady 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 we have been blessed with this beautiful Porsche RSR from the early 70s now when I say blessed it uh, depends on how you look at it if you love more power than grip, if you enjoy going sideways more than you do forwards, then yes, this car is a blessing. Now, fortunately, it ticks every box for me. So I am a happy racer. What else did we get in this new build? Well, they gave us a new street circuit, Salvador. I haven't got round to checking that out just yet, but I will do. Love a street circuit, the challenge that that produces. Oh, oh. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. And rub. Now this is uh, quite a significant build when it comes to controllers, controller profiles, setups. Whoa, steady boy, steady. <laughs> and uh, I have a Aki 4 stretch drive wheel uh, with Fnatic load cell pedals sideways and initially when I first loaded up the game after the new update I hello, didn't have any um, controller inputs so I had to go in there and now you can create up to six user profiles you can name them and set them all up independently of each other. So once I've been in there and um, created a new user profile or controller profile, named it AccuForce, then just went back through and spent five minutes just setting everything up, getting everything calibrated, straight back out on track. Perfect. Everything <laughs> just worked. And in fact, I quite often use um, my Sim Commander software for my force feedback settings. But uh, the latest round of force feedback tweaks and changes, same as with Race Room, I now run it to RAW, so I just use the game input oh 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 understeer oh man let's just lost a load of momentum there so what do we think of this car oh man it is understeer on the way in oversteer on the way out absolutely insane oh. but thankfully with the continued hard work from Reza Studios on Automobilista 2 <laughs> we can exploit these handling characteristics right to the limit
I know exactly when the car is oversteering, I know exactly when the car is understeering. The tyre model, the physics model, the force feedback model, it's beautifully translating that to the story of what's going on between the car and the track. And I know exactly what to do. See this time round in a bit slower, in a bit slower, just patient, 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 and then plant that throttle. Little lift there just to help rotate the car. Flat through there now the tires are all warmed up. This is just oh. Well, I am a I'm an Automobilista 2 fanboy. I'm not gonna deny it. I I've always loved uh, Reza Studio's work. Initially when this game came out, I did have my head in my hands and I thought, no, please, please. But what a 12 month, last 12 months we've had. This is not the same sim racing title they released. Yeah, the sounds... Listen to the sounds of this. You could close your eyes and you would know you are driving a dirty old Porsche. They've got the tone, the note, the real rawness, you know. There's no worries, there's no sound or emission checks these things had to pass. And that's coming through. I don't know, you know, I'm not always overly impressed with um, the sound of some of the cars in AMS2. I think sometimes they're lacking a little bit of depth, a bit of grunt, but it, this one, this one's good. could almost race this one just for the sounds but really it's just because I want to hang my ass out let's get stuck in power on that's just that's it get ready now <laughs> That's it. Bang it up through the H pattern gearbox. Oh. Right, let's just take a breather for a minute. This is not an easy car to drive. And this uh, sim title is making sure you get the full raw, visceral experience of having to throw such an unwieldy monster around this beautiful Kyle Army circuit. This is the historic layout based on the uh, late 70s. What a perfect match. Ride the curb there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh it's unsettled the car. Throw me out wide. I forgot to give the old throttle a blip there. Didn't like that downshift. Really unsettled the car there. But again, how fantastic is it that I know I didn't blip it right? I know I didn't get that downshift right. The sim title knew that I hadn't given it the right inputs and it reacted accordingly and the car got unsettled. This is what you want. You want to know that when you make a mistake, you're going to be punished for it. Let's tuck in, cut his nose off. I like, I, I like titles like this, that when you make a mistake, you know it was you. You're not left wondering 
well, was that a, something physics-wise, force feedback-wise? Did I find an anomaly in the tyre model? No. I don't mind making a mistake as long as I know, you know, the mistake was me and it wasn't some coding error. And you just don't get that feeling with the Automobilista 2. Oh, trying to get a little bit too eager on the throttle, just pushing that front out. Come on then, not really an overtaking position, but we're going to go for it anyway. Oh no, in too deep, he's going to get a run back on us. Look at that. Okay. Hey, last time I seesawed this much, I was nine years old and in the playground. I tell you, this is... <laughs> this is fantastic. You just... How can you not enjoy this sort of sim racing content? Is AMS2 perfect? No. Is any sim racing title perfect? No. <laughs> Oh dear. Does it really matter? Not really. It's just a hobby. This is what we do for fun. And you let me know in the comments. There's no way that anybody who loads this car up around a, a historic layout of any of their tracks they have and you cannot smile I won't believe it I won't have it I don't care what you think about AMS2 an historic car ran a historic track these these guys have nailed it oh oh Oh, what a gear change. That's what happens when you've got a H-pattern box and you don't get all your revs and your blips, your downshifts. If you don't get it right, that's it. That box will not let you select that gear. Exactly what would happen in real life. too busy having fun not concentrating on the serious side of virtual racing so we're going to catch this pack back up now we're going to just muller it <laughs> oh absolutely fan bloody tastic oh Understeer! Get on the power! Oh, nice bit of curb there. Ah, oh, never can get that corner quite right. Ah. Oh. <laughs> right. No, you don't, matey. I've got the AI set to uh, 90, uh, aggression 50. They do struggle off the line. Perhaps I should have done a rolling start, because a standing start, they are very slow. So I did find that you have to be a little bit lazy off the line. But the AI pay you back in spades for that bit of patience at the start and give you a great race long battle from then on. But yeah, new cars, there's so many different tracks and combinations that I'm sure that Reza will listen to a little bit of uh, community feedback. And uh, as the various hot fixes come out, make some adjustments to this new car. 
you know, it would be nice to be able to hammer it right from the word go, but... Whoa. Once the pack gets uh, that first corner out of the way, then you can have fun. Oh, that's a bit better, that's a bit better. Just need to be a little bit more patient on the throttle. I don't pick it up too early. Oh, 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 ooh. I'll tell you what, when you drive this car and you get your wheel and you get your force feedback all set up nicely, you can just hear those immortal words of um, Richard Hammond from uh, Grand Tour. I'm a driving god! Yeah. Oh. That is that. Didn't even realise. Look, we've done our ten lap race. We're now on the cool down lap. Oh, absolutely amazing. If you haven't booted up um, Automobile Lister 2 for a while, why not? Why not? It's got to be worth a try, isn't it? Remember to take your time, uh, go into the, uh, you know, wheel settings remember to you know create a user profile just take the time just to set everything up nicely uh, I've got a direct drive wheel so I've turned off the low boost I've turned off the FX so I just you know have the the gain oh another thing crikey they're a bit rough, aren't they, these AR in the pit lane? Where am I then? Oh, lonely old me, I'm all up here. A uh, couple of quick things to mention. Uh, you can now map a button for... Um I'll just hang on here a minute, mate. You can now map a button for uh, setting brake bias, traction control, and uh, ABS, you can map that to it. Sorry, I had to look down. There's my button box there, and I map the buttons so you can adjust them in car if in car adjustments are available. That's a nice little touch. Uh, and you can also, same as Race Room have done, um, well, they've made more of a feature of it in their new build with the new force feedback, is you can turn up the game in, in car, in sim. So, you know, you, if you set the force feedback up, some cars want a little bit more, some cars want a bit less. Well, you can you can bind a button. I've got a rotary dial on the top there up by my ignition and starter switches. So I can just give it a tweak, dial it back a little bit. But as a new build, love it. So this was, uh, this is the new August 2021 build. It's another major build. Well, it, I just love it, so, and I think you will too. So give it a go, give it a go, give it a go. Let me know in the comments if you do, you know, if you've not been one who's tried this title for a while and you've decided to reboot it up, let me know. Were you pleasantly surprised? Was it good? Was it bad? Uh, what do you think of this new Porsche? Is it, uh, is it as mental as I make it out or is it just my bad driving? <laughs> Either way, let me know. If you enjoyed it, Give us a like, and we'll see you in the next one. All right, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.